And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at a game called Tiny Acrobats. Tiny Acrobats, so there was a game called Meeple Circus, which we reviewed on this channel, in which you use little meeples and build little formations of circus acts. While circus music plays and everyone laughs and you try to get points. They made an expansion for it called Tiny Acrobats. Then this game is based on that expansion. Essentially, this is a reworking of Meeple Circus. I didn't know we needed two of the same game. It's not like Meeple Circus is, you know, there's like lots of variations in it, but this is kind of a reworking of it. It's a little bit simpler, I think. Is it better? Let's find out. There is a Tiny Acrobats app that you can download to play. All you need, though, is a two-minute timer. But if you want to hear various circus music while you're playing a game, this will replace the two-minute timer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be playing this the whole review, right? No, no, that would be annoying, so we'll stop that. Let's take a look at how you play. The game's going to take place over three rounds. At the beginning, you get three Acrobats of your color plus a ball. Players are then going to draw a card for the round one, and it's going to give you some more things. So, hey, this gives me an elephant, this little purple thing, and another performer. Then you'll start the timer with the annoying circus music, and at the same time, everybody has two minutes to kind of arrange these. Now, you're trying to arrange them to match these cards. So I'll be like, ooh, I want the, the elephant with his trunk. There we go. Nice. Okay, I did that one. Uh, this one needs a horse. I don't even have a horse. This one says, have one of my people with the purple on its side. I'll put him on top of the elephant. Woo! And this says, stack two people on top of each other. That seems pretty easy. This one says, over here, put a ball. I can't do that one. I don't have a beam, so that one's not possible. Oh, but I could be the first one done, so I'm done. So if you are the first one done, then you've accomplished this card. At the end of a round, you're going to see how many cards you accomplish. So in this case, I've accomplished one, two, three, four cards. Four cards, accomplishing four cards is going to give me ten applause. Yeah, but also, I'm going to then measure my highest one. Woo, I got up to five on the measuring meter, so that's 15 applause total. But don't worry, because no matter what you do, you're going to get at least ten. That's the rule. If you make less than ten, you get ten applause. So that's round one. Then you'll take all these cards off to reveal a new way to do things. You'll draw another card. Hey, I got a horse and a balance beam and another acrobat. And you'll start over again. After round two, instead of drawing a regular card, you're going to draw a star performer. So you'll look at the front and be like, ooh, so now I get this tall stick and I get this guy who looks suspiciously like Elvis. And then on the back of that card, they have something that if you do this, you're going to get that many, that much applause. And so there's a whole bunch of different things you can get. You can get a camel or a tiger or monkeys. And then each of them, or the bear, each of them has their own special way. The bear with the ball or the bear with a guy in it. And then you add up your applause from three rounds. And whoever has the most points is the winner. Now, the app actually doesn't bother me. I actually like having the different kinds of circus music playing, but I can see some people being annoyed by it, especially if you're playing it near other tables of games. But that's there. And again, you can just use a two-minute timer. This is the scoreboard. The scoreboard's fine. You're gonna have cubes on it, keeping track of your applause. It's not the best scoreboard. I mean, it looks cool. Uh, the measuring stick is fine, and you have all these wooden pieces. Now, you have to put stickers on them, and unfortunately, they made it so the stickers are exactly the size of the meeples you put them on, which means you're going to end up having to put them on and pull them off a lot because they just don't stick very well. I find that to be a huge problem with the game component-wise. The cards are fine. The rules are really, really short. They're only a couple pages long. But I'm not overly impressed with the number of components for this very large box. It's not that many. Man, so if, you, if I played this in a vacuum, not knowing Meeple Circus existed, I think I would enjoy it a little bit as a lark. But I'm not reviewing it in a vacuum. Meeple Circus exists, and there's no way you should get this over Meeple Circus. I'll tell you why. In Meeple Circus, you get to draft the cards that you 
you know, your, your picking of the different items that you're going to take. Well, that's a big deal because you want to get items that will match these things. You saw that first card I drew, didn't have the stuff that matched. What if the second card I drew was also an elephant? Well, guess what? Too bad for you. I found that to be a little odd, but the, even more importantly, in the Meeple Circus, there were all those different cards and they all gave you points and you'd say, well, that one's harder. I'll try that. The fact that here you're just trying to complete a certain number of cards to get points and you have to get enough to go over 10 or everyone gets 10, which by the way, what kind of rule is that? Ever, if, if, if you don't make at least 10 points, you still get 10 points. Is that just to make people feel better? Let me give you a heads up. It doesn't work. It doesn't make me go, oh, I did terrible, but we're going to give you 10 points anyway. Who, do, who likes that? Just subtract 10. Anyway, I found out that's just a weird rule. Um, but this game just feels like it's missing some of the charm of Meeple Circus. It has a lot of the same pieces. It has a lot of the same stuff. Everyone's playing simultaneously. One of the best things about Meeple Circus was in the final act, each person built their own thing by themselves. Everybody watching was like, whoa, that's kind of missing here. It's also missing here any kind of strategy. It's just kind of luck, and now you just build something, and you're trying to build tall towers, but you're also trying to match the things. It just doesn't work as well. And I know this is kind of an odd review where I'm pointing out this game, but they're both made by the same company. And I guess if Meeple Circus is gone, I still would just remember it when I played this one. And this game has a few problems. Again, I don't like that 10 points, no matter what. What That just, that just feels like a, a pat in the back for no reason. And the game itself doesn't offer a lot of options. It says, put the elephant this way. I'll put the elephant that way. I didn't feel like there was a lot of cool strategy other than you want to try to do this stuff while building a tall tower. It's still going to be entertaining. I didn't hate the game. It's just that I think to myself, why play it? Anyway, I'm Tom Vassell. This is Tiny Acrobats on the Dice Tower. Dice Tower Judgment feels like a pale shadow of a better game.